What's up everybody, Tony with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Movo's brand new wireless lavalier system. This is the WMX 2L Duo. This system is perfect for vloggers, creators, YouTubers, anybody who wants to record really good audio on the go. It easily connects right up to your cell phone or your DSLR. It's lightweight and compact for easily recording on the go. It also uses a 2.4 gigahertz wireless system and it has a built-in omnidirectional microphone right into the little unit itself or if you wanted to you can also plug in a lapel mic as well. Movo also has a couple specific configurations that you can get this wireless kit for. You can either get it made specifically for plugging into iPhones or you can get other kits that are made for plugging into cell phones and DSLRs. And I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links when purchasing because it helps me keep purchasing products and reviews to you guys. Now the little microphone unit itself can last up to seven hours. It also comes with a charging station that has a built-in battery that will give the unit an additional seven hours of charge. And it takes about four and a half hours to totally charge up the charging station itself. And if you're wondering about the working range of these wireless microphones, it's about 328 feet. It also comes with a one year warranty, but you can activate it for an additional year as well. Now I will be going over all the features and we're gonna go ahead and test out these microphones, but first let's go and see what you get inside the box. All right, so here we have the charging base with the units inside. Let's go ahead and see what we get in the little accessory box here. Get a nice little soft pouch. We have our manual and some other cards as well. So again, it comes with this really nice soft pouch that you can put the whole unit directly into. Here we have a USB type A to USB type C cable. Here we have one of the external lav mics. Here we have another external lav mic and we also have a little weight that you can put onto the mic so you can easily fish it right down your shirt. So here we have four dead cats, two that you can put directly onto the built-in mics themselves and then two that you can easily put over the external mics. And then here we have some foam filters that you can put over the external microphones. And then we also have a couple clip-ons for the external mics as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the unit itself. All right, so if we look on the bottom here, we can see that it has some rubber feet to keep it from slipping on whatever surface you put it on. It also has the battery, which is 3000 milliamp hours. It's 3.7 volts and 11.1 watt hours. The input is five volts at 1.5 amps. And if you need to charge it up, it's got a USB type C port. You can pretty much use any cell phone charging cord or power adapter available and it'll charge up this unit. Here we have a little button that you can press to show what the charging state is. As you can see, it's fully charged right now. It also has a little button here that you can press to open up the unit just like that. And there are our two units. We have two transmitters and one receiver for the cell phone. So if you need to use this for maybe talking in an interview with somebody else, you can take one transmitter, they can take the other, and it can easily record both of those into the one unit. So here is the unit itself. It does have a little OLED screen on the front that's nicely lit in blue. We have a little clip on the back so you can easily clip it onto whatever you need. It's got a USB type C. Uh, for charging right there. On the top, it's got our omnidirectional microphone and we also have our lapel uh, plug in there. So we'll go ahead and turn on the unit. It's pretty nice. As you can see, it's got a little battery indicator. It also shows me talking on the screen here. We're up at a level five on the microphone and our signal strength. If you need to increase the gain, there's a couple set buttons right here for plus and minus. So we can put it all the way up to six and we can turn it all the way down to zero if we need. If you wanna mute the microphone, all you need to do is press the little mute button once, and as you can see on the screen there, it shows the little microphone with a line through it to let you know that it is muted, and if you wanna unmute it, just press it again once. And then if we hold the set button in for a few seconds, now we can cycle through the menu. As you can see, we can change the input from mic in to line in. We also have our mic gain, we have mute, which we can enable. We have LCD sleep. We can change it from 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and off. Now, if you wanna change any of these menu items, all you need to do is hold in the set button again for a few seconds, and it'll highlight the specific option. We can also force it to search for the receiver if the transmitter can't find it. We have our language we can change. We can restore the whole thing. 
and then it shows the software version. Then we'll go ahead and put the unit back into the charger so you can see that it does actually charge. As you can see, it is charging right now. Now the receiver doesn't have any built-in batteries. It simply just uses the power from your phone. Here we have a little status LED. We have a little monitoring port that you can plug in some headphones. We have a little switch here where you can do mono or stereo. And then we have a little pairing button. And again, that plugs right into your iPhone. Now, as far as the build quality goes, these units are made of all plastic, but they don't feel cheap. They are light, but they feel really nice. And as far as the receiver goes, it's also really light as well. You don't really want a lot of weight because if you're going to put this on your shirt directly, it's going to weigh down your shirt. So you kind of want it to be as light as possible. And then here we have one of the dead cat filters. All you need to do is simply just pop this in to the little slots on the top and you're good to go. Okay, so here I have the microphone and it's all hooked up to my iPhone 13 Pro Max. As you can see, the little blue LED is solid to let you know that the microphone is connected directly up to the transmitter. Now, if I go ahead and turn the microphone to the side, you should still be able to hear me pretty clearly and it shouldn't have any effect on the volume of my voice as well because it is a omnidirectional mic. So you can, should be able to pretty much put this microphone any way that you want and you should be able to easily hear whatever you're saying into the microphone. And if you're wondering about this little stand that I'm using, Movo does make this as well. It's like a little vlogger's kit. Um, you can connect a microphone or you can connect a light or something. It's got a little cold shoe up at the top here. You can easily adjust this to put pretty much any size cell phone you need in here. It's got a little handle on here in case you want to use like a, a little vlogging style and it comes with a little tripod in case you just need to stationary just like this. So everything I've been saying for probably the past two minutes or so have been coming directly from this microphone. So this will give you a really good idea of how good the quality is and what you can expect from it. And then here I clip the unit right onto my shirt because this is pretty much the scenario that everybody's going to be using this in. You're really not going to be holding it and trying to do things. It's going to be clipped onto your shirt. One tip that I do have is using a magnet. I put a magnet or a piece of metal underneath the little clip here and then put a magnet underneath your shirt and you can easily clip it pretty much wherever you need on your shirt in case you know the neck on your shirt like mine is up a little high and it might be a little harder for the microphone to hear your voice. But again, this will give you some idea of what the sound quality would be like if the microphone was pretty much like right underneath your neck like it is on mine. And then here I have the external lapel mic clipped right onto my shirt. So this will give you some idea of what the sound quality would be like for a situation just like this. You'd probably be using this again if you were vlogging or recording some audio where you needed to use both of your hands. And then here I'm doing a little impromptu vlog. I'm holding on to the handle for that whole tripod setup that I showed you. I'm using an external lav mic. So this is the audio quality you can sound like if you're using a scenario just like this. And then here's a little audio sample of what it sounds like using the dead cat. Now it's probably a little muffled than it would be normally, but if there's a lot of wind, you definitely don't want that wind into your microphone because it's going to sound horrible. So I'd rather use the dead cat, have it muted a little bit, but still be clear. Now, one really important thing about the mono and stereo switch is the fact that these microphones are not stereo, they're mono. So when you're using two of them, they use one per channel. So if you're only using one mic, regardless if you have it on mono or stereo, it's only going to be using that one channel. If you're using these mics in like a interview situation uh, with another person, one microphone will be on one channel and the one microphone will be on another channel. So now my voice should be coming out of one side of the speaker. And then if I talk into the other microphone, it'll come out through the other channel. So this is an example of only using one transmitter. While the receiver is still in stereo, this will give you an idea of what you're going to hear if you don't spread that one channel to both sides. All right, so it's pretty windy outside right now. I am using the dead cat, so this will give you a pretty good idea of what the audio quality would sound like trying to record audio outside when it's kind of drizzling uh, and it's a little windy so I'm going to go ahead and walk all the way down the street and we'll see how far we can use the wireless system. 
So I'm about 150 feet away from the camera right now and I just looked at the microphone and it only has one bar of signal. So I feel if I go any further, it might not pick up my voice. It might actually not be picking up my voice right now. I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and test it out. So starting at about 150 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and walk towards the camera now and we'll see if there's any cutting or clipping. So again, it is kind of windy out here as you can see there's quite a few uh, tumbleweeds uh, going across the street here you can see the uh, trees kind of blowing it is actually raining a, a little bit right now so I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse because I don't want to get drenched while recording this video but it is pretty nice outside right now as far as the signal goes, it's almost at full bars. There's, I think there's only one bar missing from the unit. We'll go ahead and see what it records when I get back to my computer right now. I'm almost back to the camera, as you can see, and I'm sure right now it's picking up my voice just fine. Again, there's the wind. I'll turn into the wind a little bit, just so you guys could get a little idea of what the the quality would sound like when the wind was blowing directly into the microphone. It's pretty steady, so hopefully it's good because I won't know again until I get back to my computer. But I'll go ahead and turn around now, walk back to the camera. So hopefully that was a successful test of the audio quality walking all the way down the street. Like I said, it was about 150 feet. So I'm pretty blown away with the sound quality of this device. It did absolutely amazing outside in the rain and the wind. You really couldn't tell that there was even any wind outside. And from what I could hear, my voice was crystal clear. And as far as the distance goes, I don't know who's gonna be using these further than 150 feet away, but it definitely did an excellent job as well. Being so far away, there was no clipping, no cutting out. I'm really impressed with the range and the sound quality, especially recording outside. Now, I definitely think the best scenario for recording with these lapel mics is going to be if you're wearing a jacket or maybe a shirt that's maybe got something you can clip onto a little lower or if you use the tip that I told you about with the magnet because when I had it hooked up to my shirt directly underneath my chin by my throat, it was definitely a, a lot more muffled than it was when I held the microphone in front of my face or even when I was recording outside and I was wearing a jacket and I was able to put the microphone a little bit further down, it definitely sounded a lot clearer. I also never ran into an issue when I was recording with these mics. You really just plug the receiver into your phone, turn on the transmitter, and you're off and running. Now I did have the mic gain turned up all the way and it sounded excellent. So I think if you're gonna get these yourself, I would just go ahead and turn up the microphone all the way to six, unless you're gonna have the thing right next to your mouth. They're also really lightweight and super compact. So if you're gonna use these on the go, you can easily slide this into your pocket if you're gonna use the external microphone or if you're just gonna clip this onto your shirt, it's definitely not gonna weigh it down. Now the battery should last you between two or three recording sessions before you have to pop it back into the station to give it another charge. But depending on how long your video sessions take, you might have to charge it up a little sooner. I've used a couple other Movo microphones and they've never disappointed me and this is no exception. I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a wireless microphone system that's gonna give you excellent range and great quality. And again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products and do reviews to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.